Hi guys, it's Alice and today I'm going to try and figure out what to read next. And I've done a few of these types of videos before and I'm just gonna try the first chapter of a bunch of books and then pick one of them to read. I'm kind of in the mood for magical witchy books. So I've picked a few of those off of my shelves and I thought I would just quickly show them to you. First we have two short story collections and the first one is The Virago Book of Witches which is edited by Sharuk Hussein and this has about 50 stories in here I think and what really intrigues me about this is that the stories are from all over the world and from all kinds of different cultures and I think that's gonna be really interesting and it's also an absolutely beautiful book. The second one is Toil and Trouble and this is edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tess Sharp and this has 15 stories in here and as opposed to the Virago collection that I just showed you I think this leans quite a lot more YA and the stories are more modern and I think I read somewhere that the characters in here are supposed to be really diverse which is cool. Then we have got Wicked Deep by Shea Earnshaw and this is also YA as far as I'm aware and it's set in this town where a few centuries before these three sisters were murdered because they were accused of witchcraft and then now each year they return and I think sort of seek revenge. Second to last we've got the very beloved Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman and this is adult fiction and the story is about these two sisters who come from a long line of witches and they live in this town where they're sort of blamed for everything like everything is this family's fault and I think that's probably not a fun place to be and I think they sort of want to get out of it. Lastly, we've got a non-fiction book, just to sort of mix it up, and it is The Occult, Witchcraft and Magic by Christopher Dell. And this is a history book about the occult and magic and witches and all of that. And this looks so cool, and I've had it for quite some time, and I really should read it soon. But it is kind of a big boy. So I'm just going to get into it, starting with the first book that I showed you. And this has, I'm pretty sure it has both a preface and an introduction. And then the first story is an Indian story, so I'm going to read that as well. And it's only like 10 pages, so it'll be fairly quick. Alright, so I've read the preface of this and it was actually really interesting. It talked a little bit about the history of witchcraft and basically how women have been treated throughout the times for just being human beings. And then the introduction is kind of the same thing. It talked a little bit about how witches appear in different cultures, which was interesting. And I guess this collection of stories isn't actually that new, it's just been republished because the introduction, I think, was from 1993 and then the preface was from 2013. So I guess this is like a republished thing. The first story in this, like I mentioned, is Indian and it's called Indravati and the Seven Sisters. And it's about this prince and princess who get married and they're both very beautiful. And on the way back to their kingdom after their wedding, these seven sisters kidnap the prince. They're witches and they have feet the wrong way around, which is apparently the mark of a witch. And they think he's beautiful and they want him, like they want to get it on. So they kidnap him, which is not a good thing. It's not the way to go about it. <laughs> I really liked it though. It's quite different from any other witch stories that I've read before, but it really intrigued me to keep reading. So this is definitely a very strong contender. Next, I'm moving on to Toil and Trouble, and the first story in this I think is called Star Song, and it's about 20-ish pages. So, this is very different from that first story that I read in that other book. This is very YA, it's very modern and it's very different in tone, and like the first few paragraphs mentions Instagram and Tumblr and likes and it's about this 16 year old girl who has some sort of magical powers I guess and she like uses them while chatting to people online and there's mention of polyamory which is kind of cool 
but I don't really know if I liked it. I actually know that I didn't like it. <laughs> it's just not really my jam. I don't think it was that well written and I think it could have been a lot clearer and tighter. And she mentions her mother and her grandmother and that bit was kind of cool. Like I would have loved to know more about that but I don't know about this one. I... Mm, eh. This does contain 15 different stories from 15 different authors though, so maybe the other stories are quite different. But if that first one is an indicator of the other ones, probably not gonna love this. I might not even read it. I think I might read the next few um, stories just to see. But yeah, that first one was not it. Moving on, we've got The Wicked Deep, and the first chapter of this is only like 10 pages or something. So this actually starts off with a page with a little bit of history about these three sisters who arrived in this town in 1822, and the townspeople believed that they were witches, so they tied stones to their feet and threw them in the water, where they obviously drowned. And then in present day, we meet this young girl who is going to school. I think she's like 17 and she lives on this little island in the same place where these sisters were. And she is sort of contemplating what to do with her future. There's also a bit in here where she mentions that her mother, who she lives with, reads tea leaves and that she has predicted that this girl's future has a shipwrecked boy in it which I'm assuming is foreshadowing. And then this girl seems to feel a lot of responsibility for her mother, like she doesn't want to leave her alone even for a night, so maybe the mother is a little unstable. And then at the end of the chapter there is mention of these three sisters and how their legend always brings about death every year. I did quite like the first chapter of this, especially the bit about the history about these three sisters. It is very YA though, and I don't know if I'm in the mood for that, but I'm considering it. Second to last, we have got Practical Magic, and the first chapter of this actually seems to be quite long. It's like, I think, over 50 pages, and I'm not gonna read all of that. I'm just gonna start it and then stop at some sort of natural stopping point. So this starts off with introducing us to this town where the Owens sisters live. And it says how this family is blamed for everything that goes wrong in this town. And the sisters are raised by their aunts without much rule or regulation, it seems. And they're very different from each other, but they're very close, which is not that surprising, seeing as no one wants to play with them because everyone is afraid of them. The ants are apparently witches and there's a bit in here where they do this ritual for a woman so she can get the man that she wants and that has some consequences and that's as far as I got. I really really like this, I gotta say, the first bit made me very intrigued. Lastly we've got this big boy and I think I'm just gonna read the introduction of this and see what I think, because the chapters seem to be quite long, so I'm just gonna read that bit and see how it goes. So the introduction of this was basically just an introduction to what we're gonna get to read in this book, and I think it sounds really, really interesting. It talked a little bit about how magic appears in different religions, so I'm assuming that's something that we get to read, and that sounds very interesting. This is also illustrated and the illustrations in here are pretty cool and there seems to be like loads of different types of art and things like that which I really like. So I actually think I'm gonna start two books this time and this is gonna be one of them. This is very different from the other ones because this is obviously non-fiction and it's just a very different type of book and I really want to start it and I think I think this is going to be one of those books that's going to take me a while to read and I'm just sort of going to dip in and out of. But I want to start one of the other ones as well because I want to read something that's also fiction. So I'm going to start this one and then I'm also going to pick one of these. Now I am not going to try and read this because the first story was not it for me. 
So I think I might keep this and then at a later date I might try one of the other stories and see if I like that better, but if I don't, I'm probably just gonna get rid of this one, to be honest. I also don't really think I'm in the mood for YA, so I'm not gonna read this right now, but I am gonna keep it and read it at some later time. So that leaves me with these, and I actually know which one of these I wanna read. I wanna read both, but this one, I think I wanna save for fall, because it just, I don't know. There's something about this that makes me feel like Fall and autumn is like the perfect time to read this, so I think I'm gonna put it off until then. But I'm already looking forward to it because I think it's gonna be the perfect book to read during that time. So that leaves me with this one, and I'm really excited to keep reading this. I think it's gonna be really, really cool. And a lot of the stories in here are quite short, which I actually really like. And I feel like these two together are kind of great because this is like... It's not classical stories, but I guess kind of classical stories. And then this is like the history of it. So I think that reading these two together is gonna be really cool. Okay guys, that was everything I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's really fun to make these videos and I love watching them. And I think reading the first chapter of different books is a really fun way to sort of choose your next read. I'd also love to know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and if you have any recommendations for books with witches that are adult fiction, I would love to know because I feel like they're really, really difficult to find. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know and I will see you soon. Bye!